Identities gain physical permissions by being assigned access groups. Access groups define which doors or floors cardholders can physically access. This lesson further overviews how access groups function and shows the steps for creating a new access group on the system. After completing this training, you'll be able to set up an access group on the system. As previously introduced, an access group is a collection of doors on the system. For example, all the doors in this area can be gathered together into one access group. This access group can then be assigned to a role. A role can contain more than one access group or permissions. When a role is assigned to an individual cardholder or identity, it provides them the permissions and areas they can use or physically access. This is the general workflow to assign physical permissions in the system. For example, in this demonstration, all the doors in the lab have been bundled together into an access group called the Lab Access Group. Then, the Lab Access Group is assigned to the Lab Employee role. Finally, the Lab Employee role can be assigned to these specific cardholders. Now, these individuals are allowed access to all the doors in the lab. Now that we understand access groups, let's look at how to set one up on the system. To add a new access group, begin by clicking here. And then by clicking here. The access group page loads, displaying a table of all access groups currently configured on the system. The name of the access group appears in this column. Click on each access group's name to configure it. This column identifies the name of the appliance that maintains each access group. This column indicates if this access group is communicating with the appliance. A checkmark icon indicates it is, and an X icon indicates that it is not. This column specifies the number of doors that are included in each access group. This column specifies the roles to which this access group is assigned. In this column, click the minus icon to delete the door from the system. Note that some access groups cannot be deleted. In this demonstration, we're configuring a new access group. The Add New Access Group page loads. Enter the name of this access group. In this demonstration, we will give it this name. From the drop-down list, select the appliance that manages this access group. Since our system has only one appliance, we'll leave this field unchanged. Then specify the schedule for this access group in this drop-down list. The drop-down list loads displaying different schedules. Select a schedule for which the access group is active, meaning the times when cardholders assigned to this access group can enter the doors in it. We need employees to be able to access the lab during work hours only, so we will select this option. Click here to activate the access group. The access group is installed or activated. Now, save the configuration by clicking here. Page reloads. If elevator access levels are defined on the system, a new field loads. Select the elevator access levels here. In this demonstration, we'll leave this field unchanged. Also, scroll down. A list of available doors appear below. We want to assign only the employee doors to the access group. To do this, hold the control key on your keyboard and select all of the doors applicable to employees. In this case, these doors are applicable. Then click here to move these doors over to this list. The doors are moved over to this list, meaning they are assigned to the access group. This means that the identities assigned to this access group will have the physical permissions to access doors to the lab Monday through Friday from 9 o'clock in the morning to 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Click here to save the configuration. The configuration is saved. After creating access groups, you need to assign these to a role. We will go over creating roles in the next module. To sum up, this demonstration overviewed how to set up an access group. When setting up an access group, first give it a name and select the appliance for it. 
Then specify the schedule for when the access group is active, meaning the times when cardholders assigned to the access group can enter the doors in it. If elevator access levels are defined on the system, select the access levels for it. Then activate the access group. Finally, assign all necessary doors to the access group.